At Audiology Associates of Prestonsburg, you can live your life the way you want and find the freedom of better hearing. With 40 years of being in the hearing care industry, you'll experience patient care that is specific to you with exceptional follow-up care that ensures your hearing and balance needs are being met. Audiology Associates at 1428 North Lake Drive in Prestonsburg. Saturday, May 13th, officers and deputies from Kentucky State Police, Prestonsburg Police, and the Floyd County Sheriff's Department joined in Washington, D.C. to receive the Top Cop of the Year Award. The purpose of the Top Cops Awards is to educate the public about our nation's heroes and pay tribute to law enforcement agencies from across the country for actions above and beyond the call of duty. We left on Thursday. We went to Washington, D.C. Uh, with all the guys and um, for the uh, first event was the uh, Top Cop celebrations for the uh, pretty much the nation, the United States, you know, and uh, that was very interesting and uh, humbling. So uh, that that is huge. It's big for a little town here in Floyd County, a little town of Allen, you know, some incident that happened and uh, the police officers who all came together that day who did all kinds of heroic actions that day to, to save the life of each other, um, pretty much is what they did, to save Darren's life, to get him out, to save Chris Hall's life, to get him out. Uh, just a number of, of incidents, but... Uh, that these guys were involved in that showcased their skills and their bravery. And uh, for that, they were obviously honored for it. State Trooper Billy Ball, Prestonsburg Police Patrolman Dennis Hutchinson, and Sheriff's Deputies Dusty Newsom, Chris Hall, and Darren Lawson were awarded the nation's Top Cops Award as a result of their heroic actions during the Allen shooting. Obviously, there's a, um, uh, even for this Top Cops, it was to memorialize uh, William Petrie. Ralph Frazier and Jacob Chapin, the Drago. So they were also mentioned in, in, in the... So then the next day we started the candlelight vigil for all the people who, uh, police that were killed in 2022 in the line of duty. Uh, so we had Oliver Little in that, and then William Petrie, Drago, and then Prestonsburg PD, Frazier and Chapins. And uh, so that, that was a real nice candlelight vigil. Uh, today, I came back yesterday, so today, they will be doing the actual induction into the uh, law enforcement memorial wall. They will be doing that. Captain Ralph Frazier, Patrolman Jacob Chaffins, and Deputy William Petrie were engraved on the Fallen Officers Memorial, and K-9 Drago had their name and end of watch inscribed in stone at the National Law Enforcement Memorial in Washington, D.C. It's hard to say. It's a, a, a good feeling. It's a sad occasion, don't get me wrong. But to see that these guys are getting what they deserve, but for their names to be forever etched in, in stone, literally, uh, in the marble, for their kids to see, their grandkids to always see and have on that wall that uh, their family member, their dad, whoever, uh, all of them made the ultimate sacrifice, they will never be forgotten. And so that's a, that is a, obviously some uh, relief on you that their families will know that they're always going to be remembered. Reporting for Mountaintop News. I'm Brianna Robinson.